Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. There are a lot of tricky math word problems out there, and one of the types you're probably going to run into relates to age. You're going to be given two people, and you're going to be asked about their relative ages. And you're going to be, along those same lines, thinking about the passage of time. So when you're doing these problems, it's really important to keep track of their current age versus their age in the future or past, depending on the problem. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're adding time, like if time's going by between one equation and the next, make sure you're adding that time to the age of both people. If you only add to one person, you're going to end up with the wrong equations and the wrong answers. So there's all this passage of time. It sounds kind of like, ooh, metaphysical and all this like fancy stuff. That's why you really have to be careful to show all of your work and then please check your work at the end and make sure you have a solution that makes sense in the real world. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Lesson. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. <laughs> <laughs>